for the tender. Fin series. Me no me yeh ni pe bia se mi pia bunti ubi a pe me ni macho me change sex tape. I di ane da wana we try one for the day. Why is this slave queen ni bia masa when he shape? Kong constant bia si a jeng kwa se me trimi ti a rap pe bia be ko the grave. So when jin dia we the bomi din ke ke we be ti a si a best rapper no debate. Sauce ni kwa me. Ti ma homa na we di a text to me boa me. On se mo low bar brand me charge. Me a me no win ya me. Trade ya poko me. Best MC Lewis is jamming. Me ni me wate share the modi a se prime me. Ah ah ah. Grand query muade. Me no wepa rap a ken me nya crash. Yo, what up, what up? This is your boy King Series, straight from Busy Home Beats. And in today's video, I'm just going to show you how to mix your rap vocals to sound um, properly and fit uh, perfectly together with the beat. Okay. So without wasting my time, let's just get into the video. But before then, please, if you are new to the, the channel here, make sure you subscribe to support your boy, like, and also comment down there because it helps your boy to grow. So. First of all, before you can, let's listen to the raw vocals and everything. So I will explain everything to you and know how you're actually going to um, apply this and also uh, improve upon your mixes. Okay, so I'm muting every effect on it and um, I'll just go straight to it. So let's listen to the raw vocals and let me just mute the beat. If for the tender, yeah, in series. Me no me yeh ni pe pia se mi pia bunti ubi a pe me ni macho me change sex tape. A di ane da wana we try one for the day. Why it is a slave queen ubi a masa when he shape. Kong constant we a see a jeng kwa se me trimi ti a rap pe bi a be ko the grave. So when jin dia we the bomi din ke ke we be ti a see a best rapper no debate. So let's add the beats and see um the levels the gain staging level and see how the volume plays together with the beat. Sauce in the crumb, to my home and now with the text to me boame. On se mo low bar brand me charge. Me a me no win ya me. Trade ya po kwame. Best MC Lewis is jamming. Me no me what test ya the modi as a primary. Ah ah ah, grand query muade. Me no ever bra pack. Can me nya catch it? Ati. So you see that um one secret about this mixing thing is um whenever you record your vocals together with your beat, make sure that um. Without the effect on it, you can hear the vocals and also hear the beats. Yes, I mean the volume level is not extremely low. Your vocal volume level is not too low, whereby you have to be using effects to be raising it high. And um, you know, yes, that thing helps a lot because if you don't record your vocals well, I mean your volume level doesn't uh, match up to the beat everywhere. When when you try to use effect to raise up the volume, it brings out noises and it doesn't make the vocal sound clear. So that you put effect and everything will be okay for you. You get it. So try as much as possible to record a clean vocals by making sure that your vocals to also um fit pro fit properly together with the beat. I mean, um the volume level um is actually the same, not uh, exactly the same, but you can hear the vocals and you can also hear the beat to play now so because this without effect you can hear everything. You get it. So with this, you're mixing. You can find it is but if you are having, let's say something like this. The beat is overshadowing the vocals. You get it. So putting effect on it and trying to raise the volume is actually going to make your your mixes sound bad. Yeah. So that's the first step that I will try to give to you by here. So the next thing is um, I always use C one gate to I mean block. Those kind of background noise, but for this, I don't think I put it on it because um, after recording and just doing one or two uh, effects mixing on it, I did like it and um, I just left it. But you can use it if you're having background noises and everything. Uh, your studio is not not actually treated like um, professional ones and everything. You can use the C1 gate just to block the background noises and everything. So this this is how I did treat it. So first of all, I put. EQ on it and whatever you are doing on your um um on your vocals you have to make sure that the effect that you are putting it on you just understand why you are putting the effect on so uh, for me if i'm supposed to explain this to you i'm putting this eq on this vocals because um i can hear some madness in the song and not each and every time that you're supposed to be cutting the low ends because you see everybody cutting low ends and they see it and see it. yeah most of my songs sometimes I don't even cut the low ends. I just listen to it and see what um, the vocals is actually doing. If I'm having problem with some frequencies, then I'm supposed to use the EQ for that. You get it? If some parts are not actually helping me, if I'm having too much high ends or low ends or the mid frequency is not actually helping, I have to use the EQ to treat all those problems. You get it? 
yes so the eq is for treating those problems and make be boosting some frequencies which are actually low and not um popping into the mix well okay so if you listen to the vocals raw without the eq this is how it sounds <laughs> And let me put the EQ on it and see how it sounds. If you are using proper ear uh, headphones, you can actually hear or studio headphones. You can actually hear how it is sounding. Sounding really muddy. You get it? And this frequency range, I didn't like it. So I have to make sure I just cut it out. Me, trade the ampoo, me. Best them see lyrics is jamming. Me name what test you are the mood is a primary. Ah ah ah, crank crazy moody. So it gives um the low ends of the beat and everything um space when I cut this part for the low ends to actually appear in the song. So the free I will use this. I use this um. EQ to cut the low ends and also cut out some frequencies which I don't actually want it. It depends on your make, uh, your vocals. You get to, you don't have to copy the same settings each and every time I record. I treat my vocals different with the EQ. You get it because maybe when I'm recording together with the beat, the way I did recorded it was different. So I have to use the EQ to treat it the way it will sound okay for me. You don't have to copy the settings and each and every time just put it on it. Understand why you are using the EQ. Your EQ is cleaning up some frequencies which are not okay and you are just sometimes you use it to boost some frequencies which are actually good and you want it to be um being the being be you want it to be present in the song yes sorry okay so the next thing is um i've always tell you compressor we use the compressor to um treat the dynamic range the dynamic the low dynamic range and the high dynamic range i've always um I've shown you how to use the compressor. It's on my channel. You can search for it, how to use the compressor, and you will know how it is done. So the compressor that I'm using over here is this um, from Waves, Rvox Stereo. So for this um, Rvox, this is what I'm actually doing. For the compressor, what I'm actually doing is um, I'm making sure that the lowest part of the song, the lowest part of the vocals, yes, you know that whenever we speak, we doesn't speak like a robot, whereby everything will be set at the same volume uh, level. You get it. So this part, you can see that if you look at the wave, it's actually down, and this part is actually high. You get it. So to make sure that uh, you di you doesn't hear the difference too well, you use the compressor to do that. So what I'm doing is using the compressor to compress it. It's not. It's not I'm using the compressor to uh, give it more volume to. Um, you get what I'm saying? I'm not using the compressor to um, boost the volume just like, but I'm using the compressor to make sure that my dynamic range are actually well. You get it? Not too low or too high. Yes, it's supposed to match the low ends and the high dynamic range is supposed to match up together. So that's what I'm actually using it. But the reason why we use the gain is because whenever you compress, you lose some um, volume level because the high, the ones which are being played loud, um, compressed down to the low ones level. You get it. So you lose some kind of energy and some volume level. And that's why we always use the gain to bring those kind of volume that we've lost uh, into, the, into the vocal. So it doesn't mean that each and every time I'm using the compressor to give it a, a volume or something like that. But I'm just using it to compress and make sure that it fits together with the beat. So with the compressor on it, this is how it goes. So it's new crap, man. To my home and now with the text to me, boy, man. When I'm a little bit, bro, I'm a charge. Me and me, I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit. And that's the compressor. See, lyrics is jamming. Me and me, what I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit. Ah, ah, ah. Crank, crank, you move. So if you listen to the ah ah ah, so you can actually see that here was actually um down when the ah 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 came out. Yes, the primary ah ah ah, crank crazy muade. Me nunga ba bra pa ken. You get it, this part. Crank crazy muade. Me nunga ba bra pa ken. Me nyak. So if I put a compressor on it and look at the difference. Crank crazy muade. Me nunga ba bra pa ken. Me nyak crash it. Crank crazy muade. Me nunga ba bra pa ken. Me nyak crash it. So you can actually see that the you you cannot even hear the difference that. Was actually happening then. Then the next thing I do is I did put this five feet up uh, compressor on it again just to make sure that I'm getting it on the right level. It's the same thing that I was trying to do. So with with the five feet up compressor on it, that's what we are so having. So it's new crap, man. To my home and now with the text to me, boy, man. On some low bar brand, me charge. Without it. So it's new crap, man. To my home and now with the text to me, boy, man. On some low bar. 
so it gave it more energy you get it more energy so what i did is i selected this preset um punchy vocals bm then after that i just make sure i treat um i push my threshold and i adjust the attack and the release level you get it so with the compressor on it this is how it goes so it's new crammy to my home and now with the text to me boy i'm in one semi low bar brand me charge me i'm in the wind i'm in trade and without it crammy to my home and now with the so you can see that it's losing some kind of energy and waste because it's a wrap and i wanted it to hit hard in your face you get it okay so that's what the compressor is actually doing and the next thing is i'm dsing it i just i didn't put too much of effect on it because i did record that it's very nice and clear so i had to just do one or two adjustments to it and the dsa you know the work of the dsa taking away the sibilances words and everything you get it so source new crime to my home and now with the text to me boy me once i'm all over and without it listen to the source source new crime to my home source new crime and the dsa on it source new crime to my home and now with a very little changes over there you don't have to do too much of everything just doing too much at the end of the day then you just spoil your song for yourself you can't even listen to it and try to work on it so the next thing is um uh the reverb and the delay so what the reverb is doing over here if you don't know why we use the reverb it's just to create create space for uh, for the vocals and the beat you get it so that the frequencies can match up together um if they are too dry it's not actually good so we use the reverb to create this kind of space for the mix so without the reverb and these are the settings for the reverb i just adjust the decay level this time around i didn't even calculate the um pre-delay something something i just adjust the pre uh, decay level and make sure i cut some of the low ends over here so with without the reverb that's what we are having so new crime to my home and now with the text to me boy me one semi low bar brand me charge and with the reverb on it this one so i just created an fx and if you are using cubase this is how um i did it fx and uh, if i if you are using um pro tools ableton and reason and logic or and the rest i don't actually know how to use those ones so this is how we use in cubase you create fx and you don't put it direct on it you can put it direct on it but for me i don't actually love putting it direct on it sometimes i do but not all, always but this time around this is how i did it fx and then I sent a uh, negative 16.62 on it, and this is how it sounds. Source new crime to my home, and now with the text to me, boy, me. One semi low bar brand, me charge. Me and me no win, me. Trade and poke, me. Best them see, Lewis is jamming. Me name me what test share, me dear sir prime me. Ah ah ah, crown. Source new crime to my home, and now with the. Very nice and sounding okay. So the next thing is the delay, and I'm using this stock plugin from we uh Cubase here, so. The mix level is 24.5, my feedback is 26, and I'm using uh, the quarter note 1 over 4. Yes, so with the delay on it, this is how the, the, it, it goes. Yeah, text me, boy, man. What's the more low bar brand? Very small, yes, so you can hear it. So I, that one, too, I send negative 22 on it because I didn't want to, I didn't want it to be disturbing the ears. I wanted it to just be me, uh, backing it around the background. You get it? Okay. So it's new crime, man. To my home, and now with the... So together with the beat now this is what we have. So it's new crime to my home and now with the text to me boy me. One semi low bar brand me charge. Me and me no win ya me. Trade and poke me. Best them see Lewis is jamming. Me name what test share the money as a prime. Ah ah ah. Crown cray you more day. Me no ever bra pack. Can me your crutch it. Ate. So this I just wanted my own to sound. You can back up your reverb or give it more. It depends on what you actually want. If you are feeling it fine. If you are not feeling it, then you do what you think will make you feel it okay so that is how i did mix this um vocals over here i hope you did enjoy and learn something from me um so try and subscribe to the channel if you've not done that one yet to support your boy if you like and love whatever i did over here and make sure you comment and also like this video to support your boy it's your boy king series yes and i'm out